Car got loose on Mark, and he slipped back behind not only Logano but Jeff Gordon. It's just so hard to get under people. Oh, got a trouble down here in the corner. And it's I think Reagan. It's a Reagan car. It was junk anyway. He was uh, having a hard time keeping. Car going down. Caution is out. And man, I'm surprised he team, might as well can drive that one back. He, I, I've been watching him, uh, Mike, and he was just having trouble holding, to keeping control of the car. Car got hurt pretty bad in that instant. Uh, right race. rear tire was down. I think you watch what we're talking about here. This was one lap ago. And there's the six. Yeah. Car was just a mess yeah. from that spin earlier. And that could have cut down the tire that prompted that. Boy, oh, he got into the no. side of poor Marcos Ambrose in the 47. Max Pappas just barely slides by in that 13. Well, neither of those cars, you, you'd know if David Reagan hit him or not from looking at him because they're both already. Seven laps in the early going of this race. I think they just adjusted themselves right out of the ball game. Look to me like. That thing. That's the 12th caution flag of the night. Yeah, baby. Tony Stewart has one. He wants another. And she's about to strike 12. Eight, Eight laps. laps to go. Green flag. Stewart got a real good restart. Jeff Gordon, watch him drive it off into turn one here. Kind of like where Jeff was. He laid, he laid back in trouble. Kenson. Ken Kenson hard in the outside wall. Oh, my God. Caution will be out. I can't believe he can drive that car away. He, it's a safer barrier, but he hit it hard. And remember, he came in here our points leader, so that's the top two in points, Matt Kenseth, case of case. Yeah, he, and he was running in eighth place. Both having major problems here today. Let's see what happens to him here. Oh, gosh, he's sideways on the straightaway. Yeah, something, something big broke. time. You could, yeah, you, there's something big thing, time in trouble. I bet it broke an axle or something. Because it turned sideways like that. Mm. Way back on the straightaway. Something definitely. The good news is safer barrier. You know, I had an issue yesterday in practice with a broken brake bracket. I don't think that was a brake problem. It, it happened on the straightaway where I don't think you'd be using the brakes. Almost looked like something broke in the in the drive train, maybe like an axle. Now the impact punched a hole in the radiator oil cooler and gosh knows what else. So you you see that snail's trail behind Kenseth and it goes all the way back to the impact spot on the wall. They are going to halt the cars at turn four to clean that up so we can get back to green. I'm sure Michael would like to see him just get gone and get out of the way so Michael can have... Uh -oh. oh, trouble, turn three. Jeff Gordon is in it. Caution flag is out. That looks about like the deck. Oh, he's got big problems. Yeah, big problems because the wheel. Pretty wheel. Off that right side, then, Jeff. See, the left front wheel's going uh, due uh, south. I can't go anywhere. And the right front's going due west. Second place driver in the NASCAR Winston Cup Championship lost some ground at New Hampshire last weekend when they took four tires on the last stop and couldn't gain back any of the lost ground. And now here today at Pocono, he's in the wall with 76 laps to go. So we can see what happened to Jeff Gordon caused this. Never see Gordon on the inside. Looks like he got a little tap there once from the 77. Oh, they just checked up in front of him. 43 of Christian Fittipaldi checked up in front of him. Jeff Gordon checked up. But the problem is when you're that stacked up, 
and you're in that tight of traffic, you can't see too far ahead of you, and it looked like those guys just got in the back of them. Yeah, just, just kind of accordion together. Yeah. On board with Kurt Busch. We can watch the wreck unfold and listen. Yellows breed yellows, is that what you say, BP? Yeah, Tell you who they ever. So Gordon out of his car, make the trip to the care center for the mandatory checkup, and Robbie Loomis and company will jump on that thing, see if they can fix it, get out and back out and make some. A lot of work to do. They put a lot of downforce in the car to start the race off, but they weren't sure what they had in their hands. All right, thanks for the update. And uh, as we mentioned, she started 23rd. She is hanging on to 28th right now. While up front, it is Dario Franchitti, Elio Castanetas, Will Power, Alex Tegnelli, Bruno Giancara, one of our dark horses. He did a tremendous job in qualifying, had six practice laps, came out and put the car in the field with four laps at 225, and the Service Central crew is disappointed. Every time you start in the back, there's always an incredibly high possibility that you're going to get caught up in something else. It can be dirty air, it can be being on the outside. He did such a great job of qualifying, but racing is one thing and qualifying is another. It's a different race setup, it's a different mindset. Now watch for the yellow car. He's just a little bit high going through the turn, probably just got on a little bit of the gray. That's not where the rubber wants to be, and the car just came around on him, Eddie. Now, lots of here again. Car he lost it coming in. He lost it coming in, caught it, and lost it again. The area that he was in on the track is the area that Canan used to pass 10 cars. He was 25th at the time of this crash, so our second caution comes out now as we've completed eight of the 200 laps here at Indianapolis. Gives us an opportunity to go side by side again. As you can see, the safety crew taking care of the business. One thing we don't want to see much more today, if at all. Gordon, Jeff right now has kind of got them in, all bottled up. And while they're bottled up, here comes Tony Stewart in that 20 car fighting his way back. It looks like the groove has moved up. You can get. Oh, the there control. we go. Trouble right there. Carl 99. Edwards. 99 got around back there. But hang on, baby. I think the 24 got around. Big time. Hard crash for Carl Edwards at lap 257. Caution flag number eight. Out of his pocket somewhere like over the wind. <laughs> You see Gordon down on the inside. I think that one of I think 24 maybe gets no Ooh. Carl gets loose. That's what happened. Come down and 24 was there. Boy, Tony Stewart I think Tony, just gets by. I don't know. You think Tony maybe got a piece of that? If he didn't. It was very close. Let's see from overhead. Well, Stewart on the in car radio reporting he's okay. It sure looked like it. He clipped him when he went by. Actually, get into the side of Jeff Gordon, though, in that right door. See right here, right here, right here. Ah, oh, man, he, that's as close as you can get without getting into it. It was. Golly, that thing goes hard right there. That was an incredible lick on that inside wall. So another past winner and another Roush Ford out of the race as Carl Edwards joins Greg Biffle to the garage. And I hope he's all right. That was a hard lick to that inside. He hit that thing running wide open. Inside, thankfully for this team and this rocket ship of a car, we have a caution on the track, guys. Got one car that's gotten into the wall there, it looks like. Casey Mears in the 13. Trying to get it around here. Brakes are done. We gotta go to the garage. Yeah, he's hit the wall so hard. It looks like he maybe have, uh, broke the re brake rotor, which I'll have to put that back on and fix that before they go back out. Yeah, we're the guys. Ooh, oh uh, yeah, you can see that tire let go right there. Oh.
Casey running in 31st position at the time. And boy, that's a hard shot. You can see the momentum almost carried him back up into traffic. He's 20th right now. Heavy traffic. I've been watching. Oh, there goes a car around Todd Bodine. Turn two. Oh, hey, on the outside wall. Caution is out. Looks like the GPS store.com Chevy didn't have a proper fix on his position. Here comes, here comes a couple cars. Might get a lap back. Coy Gibbs. Yes. Gets it back. Two yeses Coy and a no. Line and a double zero. Two Coy yeses and no. 18. Two yeses and a no. What happened to our point leader in the 92? Might be that 78 car there. Oops. Yeah, it is. Todd was trying to get to the bottom and uh, wasn't uh, quite enough room. That's Caleb Holman in the 78 car. So our points leader with uh, a 99-point lead on Ron Hornaday, that lead's going to dissipate a little bit. I didn't I'll see the 78 what. car move. He was right on the bottom of the racetrack. It looked like Todd just cut across what the you, front end. What do you think, driver? Well, I think they both went into one lane. I mean, they both wanted it, no doubt about that. I didn't see the 78 move. I thought, I think that maybe Todd thought he could got in front of him. Uh, I know a lot of times when I got a lot faster speed going in on a car, I just kind of think, you know, I, I believe I got it. I think that's what happened then, and he didn't have it. What about when you were driving around here a year or two ago with a, a wrecked race car and you got into the leader? Oh, that's that not good. You had to do be, that. That had to be a bad feeling. That was a bad feeling. But him and I had a lot of bad blood at that time. <laughs> 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 well, I recall that. Yeah, I didn't mean that. That, that shot right there, guys, I, I just don't believe the 78 car, I don't believe he moved off no, the bottom that, of the racetrack. It definitely wasn't the 78's fault. See the caution flag out and the pace car in front of the field and a hard crash for A.J. Allmendinger going into turn number one. This one developed all in a hurry. Check it out. on the radio that he, he had had some, maybe some contact with another car earlier. It could have caused his left rear to go down. Tough hit for Almendinger. AJ was right there battling, trying to get himself inside the top 10 in these final point standings. He was in 11th before that yeah. accident there, just a few points behind the 18 of Kyle Busch. Well, a season that featured a high of a win at Watkins Glen for A.J. Allmendinger will uh, end with a badly torn up race car being loaded onto a flatbed here at uh, Homestead Miami to conclude the year.